just as sheep have life with their shepherd. So the human soul has life with God. But the Bible describes a soul that's separated from God as being like sheep without a shepherd. One day, I was randomly filming a shepherd and his flock off in the distance when I noticed this sheep going astray. The shepherd doesn't see this stray and continues up the valley with the rest of his flock. This sheep has chosen not to follow its shepherd, but instead to go its own way. At one point, the sheep even takes one last look back at what it's leaving behind. And what it's leaving behind is the very person it needs to survive. It's hard to imagine, but it's true, that most lost sheep got that way like this one, by choice. This sheep is straying from the human presence that protects it, nor will it be able to find water or the protection of a sheep pen come nightfall. And the penalty of such a choice is death. Without a shepherd, this sheep will never live long enough to die of thirst. The wolves will get it first. This is why the Bible describes a lost sheep as being food for all the wild animals. The Bible tells us that sin is choosing our own way so that we can do what we want rather than following God. And that sin is what separates us from God. And the penalty of sin is death. A lost soul is helpless. And therefore, the only hope that a lost soul has to live is if its shepherd will seek it out, find it, and rescue it.
In Ezekiel chapter 34, God says, My sheep have become food for all the wild animals, since there was no shepherd. I myself will be the shepherd of my sheep. I will seek the lost and bring back the strayed. In fulfillment of this, Jesus said of himself, For the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. Whoever hears my word and believes has crossed over from death to life.